Some removal, I guess. Some like Brimstone Volleys or Devil's Play or something. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, not as strong. Not as strong. Instead of the sword, you probably play the 3 1 guy who deals damage to people, right? I think the 3 1 guy is good. That deals damage to people. Alright, so we have Lockman on the left, Justman uh, on the right. Um, Chris, the Dr. Lockman, uh, hails from northern New Jersey. Winner of Pro Tour San Diego in 2007. Number one ranked Magic Online Limited player for Ooh. two years. All right, Lockman, really? Kind of thing. Yeah. All right, so they're starting. All right. So Justin leads off with the planes. Lockman with the Nexus. So limited in the Hall of Champions, Morphlin 00. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right, so there's Dahlia. Dahlia is very good that's, against Lockman. Yeah, that's not what Lockman wants to see on turn two. It's a very rough start for him. Yeah. I think uh, I think Lockman's matchup is pretty bad. Yeah, uh, he's getting in for one poison. Yeah, one poison. And uh, let's see what Justin has in turn three. If he has a Soul Bond card right here, this is really, really good for him. Yeah. He could, uh, you know, have Thaya get in for four and... Okay, well, he doesn't have it. So he just beats him for two. And he's got Gather of Townsfolk for uh, three mana because he has pay extra for Thaya. Mm hmm He puts two humans in the play. So Lockman hits his uh, third land drop. No. I see a hand. I see uh, Infernal Titan. I see a Hunt Master. All right. So kind of slow. Just taxing for one more poison counter. Yep. Justin uh, down to uh, you know, well, just eight more poison until yeah. he's gone. Yep. <laughs> All right. So there's land number four for Justin. Uh, and he swings him for four damage. Mm -hmm. And taps four and... Is that a hero? That's really bad. All right. So uh, Lockman's in trouble. He's facing lethal damage next turn. Yeah. All right. So uh, Hot Master is going to buy him some time. He'll uh, go up to 16 and put a 2-2 two -two wolf into play. Justin draws for his turn. Yeah, I like this deck a lot more because it has, uh, you know, reach. And uh, it's, just, it's just stronger with the red, I feel. Yeah, it seems awesome. Yeah. Oh, there's Fiend Hunter. We'll take out the Hunt Master. And, oh, he cannot play Honor of the Pure. Yeah, Thalia makes yep. that cost extra mana. All right. So even in top eight, some of the players get, uh, get a bit confused. So and uh, all his guys come in. Yeah, and that's a lot of damage. So yeah, so lock, lock me goes under three. 11, 11, 11, yeah. 14. Well, if he doesn't block, he goes to two, right? If he doesn't block, he goes to one, I believe. Three, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. Three plus eight is eleven. Plus three is fourteen. All right. So yeah, no, it's, it was 14. It worked on it, too. Okay. Right. But he blocks one guy, and he goes to four. Okay, sure. And I think he's just going to scoop it up. Yeah, yep. That's it. All right. Okay. So uh, Lockman scoops it up. That was that was super quick. That was just ridiculous. This deck's awesome. Yeah. So Justin's going to bring in uh, three Celestial Purges. He definitely wants answers to uh, Infernal Titan and Huntmaster. Two very good cards against, against his deck. Mm -hmm. um, and probably Oblivion Ring and Zealous Conscript. So he has a lot of cards he wants to bring in. So that, that's eight cards. We could do uh, a trivia. Do you want to do a little trivia right now? Sure. Give away some premium. Good. Okay. Yeah. So do you have a trivia question or you want me to ask it? I thought you had the trivia question. Okay, I got it. Okay. okay. So we talked about this earlier. It just uh, was a coincidence. Uh, what was the most uh, popular, most played card at the top tables from Aviston Restored? That's a good right. question. Yeah, out of all the cards. All of them. Yeah, besides basic land. But any other card. So the, the most popular Avicen Restored card. Um, and In the it, tournament, it was probably... Yeah, and to prove how popular it was, it actually uh, sold out twice here at, at Star City. So, 
The dealer booth. At the dealer booth. In between these two yeah. decks we're watching, there are seven copies of it. There's seven? Really? This guy's got oh, never mind. There are eight. There's eight. There are eight. Yeah, there's eight, right? Eight between the two decks we're watching. Yeah. All right. So there's eight of these. Uh, you guys should know. Tweet in at uh, SEG, <laughs> um, the hashtag premium. So. Yeah. Hashtag SEG premium. Question is... Uh, the most played card from Avacyn Restored. Yep. This tournament. What is it? Let's let's check Twitter. See if uh, anybody got it right so far. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, somebody guessed Wolf Run. No, Wolf Run's not in this set. But the, the, somebody else guessed the Scalding Tarn. You guys, you guys are jokesters. You guys aren't gonna win. All right, somebody somebody might have got it right. All we right. We have some people who have got it right. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, this is for uh, free premium, so this is, should be pretty good. Hopefully, one of you guys wins. All right, so uh, Lockman's on the left, Justin is on the right. What what time are we starting tomorrow? So we can tell everybody. Uh, I think we are going live at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right. So if you're out on the West Coast, uh, wake up at 5 a.m. No, don't go to sleep. It's Saturday night. Oh, yeah. Obviously, stay out until 4, then go to the diner to eat something. But what if they're just having another Saturday night where they ain't got nobody? Where what? And they got some money because they just got paid. But they really wish they had someone to talk to. All right. <laughs> All right. So, uh, do you think anything's going to be different this game? Yes. Chris what? is on the play. I think that really matters a lot. Chris also, last game, didn't have a. Uh, I, don't know a why, I don't know why Lockman kept that hand. It did not seem like a good hand against... And his first uh, play was turn 4 Huntmaster, and it wasn't like Thali did anything, because he didn't have any spells at all. Oh, no, he did. What? He, uh... What is it? He has Slagstorm or something. No, not... No. What couldn't have been a Slagstorm? What was it? He didn't have anything. I guess he just didn't have anything. At all. Did he mulligan? I don't think he mulliganed. Yeah, it's uh, an awkward keep then. Yeah, it was just... I mean, he knows the guy's deck. You know, like... I don't know. It seemed like uh, just, a, just a mulligan, but we'll see what happens. So Lightning Mauler is one color is one red? Yes. Two one. Okay. Yeah, Cavern of Souls really helps this deck out a lot. It allows Justin to play a card that he could pretty much never play. He could never play Stormblood Berserker either. Also, the mana for this deck was hard previous to this set and Cavern yeah. of Souls fixes the mana for this deck perfectly. This is probably like the best deck of type 2. Just looking at it, it's just super aggressive and it's good. I think Silver Blade Paladin is better than Mirror Crusader. You want to go 4-2, so 3-3. Three, three. Really? I think, uh, I don't think Lightning Muller is good. I think Stormblood Berserker is just straight out better. I think Doom Traveler is awesome. So I think that there are some things you can change about the deck to make it better, but I think you're right, this archetype might just be the best deck. Yeah. It's fast, man. Yeah. It definitely is. Silverblade Paladin kills people. Yeah. Especially with um, Champion in the Parish. Alright, so Justin is mulliganing. Is he going down again? He's going to five, right? He yeah. He's going out of five. I kind of read time. a lips. His, uh, he said going to five, you know, so. Both of these players have uh, similar hair type. Do they? Don't they? Eh, I mean, Lachman's kind of parted to the side today. Yeah, but normally his hair looks like Justin's. Yeah. They both have glasses. Mm-hmm. They both play magic. Yeah. Wait, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think they're, they're both probably German, looking at the names. Yeah. Definitely German. And and yeah. maybe, they're, maybe they're brothers. Like long-lost brothers? Could be. And they're both, like, kind of happy. <laughs> like, hey, what's up? <laughs> you know, Lachman's happy. He's down in game. Justin's Mulligan with five. He's happy. All right. He says, I'll keep. All right. So, land go for Lockman. Justin Some plays with Cranes. Let's see. Lockman draws a Huntmaster. And uh, there's a Sphere of the Sun. So, yeah, Lockman has a really good draw here. Justin's going to need to have one of the Celestial Purges. So it looks like a cavern of souls, naming human. Ooh, just a one one. Just a one one storm blood berserker. That's yeah. never good. That's like super bad. Yeah. Yeah, there's a hunt master. I feel like 
<laughs> Lachman's a huge favorite to win this game, and it's only <laughs> it's only turn three. I would have to agree with you. Yeah. That's strange. Lachman <laughs> took the counter off the sphere of the sense, but didn't <laughs> turn it sideways. Oh yeah. Uh. All right, so. Is that a, the foil one? Or no? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, when you're tapped out, Chris, that thing is not untapped. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Justin uh, soul bonds his two creatures together, so he'll deal two damage. Mm hmm. He's stand at 20 now. Yeah. Hockman's going to need a removal spell to, to get that guy out of there. Yeah, we well, can just pass the turn. Yeah. Let the Huntmaster flip. All right, so that's what exactly what he does. A master will flip, and uh, he'll gain some more card advantage right there. Mm-hmm. master is just a super strong card. Yeah, that card's good. Yeah. Especially now it's uncounterable. Yeah, really good. <laughs> all right, there's a champion of the parish. Yeah, not, gonna, not the ideal turn yeah, to try that one. They're not really going to do much at all. Oh, there's a batter skull for Lachman. That's a pretty good one for Chris. Yeah. <laughs> this is, uh... All right, so I can see him just playing batter skull right here. Yeah, just Justin's draw this game just was not... Yeah, Justin actually has one to. poison counter, just so everybody, yeah. know, uh, everybody at home knows. All right, Hunt Master gets in there. I think I'll just play batter skull. Oh, Titan. Oh, he has that too. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> a good one to have in your hand as well. Yeah, I think that's the one I'd play. Yeah. <laughs> so he has Bonfire of the Damned and Battle oh, Skull okay. still in his hand. All right. So his hand, bon Bonfire, Forest. Like, he probably would have won the skull? game even if Justin had a good hand because his hand was absolutely so good, absurd. Yeah. Like, he even had Bonfire. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a waste of a double mulligan, you know, for, yeah. for Locker. <laughs> yeah, he's like, man, I had the nuts against his double mulligan. Yeah. Justin probably could have double mulliganed And up. it wasn't even like a double mulligan, like like a reasonable double mulligan. Like it was a really bad five card hand. Yeah. I mean, like a draw like this, Lockman could have beat like a nine card hand. Yeah, we probably could have. Yeah. He has bonfire even. Like it's literally just the, the full blunts. Yeah. See, that's the problem with playing like an aggro deck like that. It looks awesome like game one, you know, when you get your nut draw. But now look at a game two. Look how bad it is. Yeah, I mean, those decks don't mulligan well at all. Like, yeah. that's why red decks. Yeah. Like, you have nothing. You don't have Snapcast. You don't have Ponder. You don't have Huntmaster to gain card advantage. It's just... So, I don't know. I mean, But, I mean, nine rounds of Swiss and one game in the top eight, and he's yeah. still here, so... Ooh, that's pretty good card advantage. So he could deal uh, 3, 9, 12 damage. Yeah, that's actually pretty reasonable. Yeah. So he swings in with the Primeval Titan and the 3-3 uh, three, three Haster. So he's going to get two uh, Slayer Stronghold. I think that card is pretty good. Yeah, that card is pretty good. How do you think that compares to Gavany uh, Township? To Gavany Township? Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's different. If you're playing like a Naya deck, and you have the and you have the option of, of that Gavany Township and Keswick Wolf Run. Uh, you think you just do like a one one one? I don't know. I I want to test them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think. I mean, they're all different. They're all good. Yeah. Definitely, all of them are good. All right, so I think Lockman do another Primeval Titan. So two, four, six, eight, nine. So yeah, he should just play this the bonfire bonfire card. Yeah, he does it for four. He goes a ten, and then he just attacks for the one. Yeah. Uh. All right. So uh, a quick match so far. 
Yeah, but even there, like, Justin was able to just, like, steal half of Chris's life total out of nowhere. Yeah, I mean, I'm telling scripts, you. Like, yeah, that card is very good. The card's really good. Yeah. You could steal Planeswalkers. You could, you know, pretty much steal anything you want. Now, remember, we're going to announce the winner right after this, uh, right after this game. So, I'm Gerard Fabiano here with Jake Van Loon, and this is the top eight of uh, Star City Providence in Rhode Island. Yeah. So, cool city. Yeah, a lot on the line. Right First place, $2,400. That's a lot. That is a lot of money. Second place, 1200 That's good. Also a lot of money. Yeah. That's like, I mean, people with like super, super good jobs don't even make that kind of money. Like in what time frame? In like a day. You know? Yeah, I mean, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> like doctors don't make that. I don't think. I mean, most doctors lawyers don't. don't. Most doc lawyers don't. Yeah. So and there are some you don't you too. don't need to go to school. You can just become a magic player. <laughs> just play in an SCG open every day and win it. Imagine. <laughs> imagine. Imagine you were the best magic player like in the world. Like Kai. But like, like imagine better than Kai, Kai. Like when Kai. But Kai won like infinite money. Kai won like 200k in like a couple of years, like four years, right? No, a lot more than that. A lot more years than that? No, like he made a, like it, a lot more than 200k in four years. He made like 500k or something. Yeah, man, he made infinite money. Yeah, he really did, yeah. Like it was unreal. Yeah. He was just so much better than everybody else. He was. But imagine you were even better than Kai. And you could just show up to the Magic Tournament and like never lose. Like John? No, John loses. Yeah, I mean, Oh, yeah, you, you know an interesting story about John? I was looking at old uh, coverage. And, and then there's this thing about, like, wolves and how they're unblockable, or? No, but oh, okay. in actually, in, in, 2000, <laughs> in Nationals 2001, he played versus Chris Benefall. Okay. And uh, Chris Benefall and uh, Finkel, I think they had, like, some beef back in the day. <laughs> and so it was, like, a feature match. And Benefall, like, makes this, like, attack. And Finkel's like, all right, I'll take it. I'll, I'll go to six. And then Benefall's like, bolt you, bolt you. You should have blocked champ. And it was like literally like a rewind from Pro Tour Hawaii. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> where Finkel had the game one. All he had to do was untap and kill him. But he decided to like go down to six. And then Benefall just had two bolts and killed him. You can look, it up, like, look up the coverage. It was like just insane. I was reading it. And I was like, no way. This is like 11 years later, the same thing happens. Oh, man. Yeah. That's just curse. Yeah. Man, I'm just going to slow roll burn spells against John every time I play against him now. Because <laughs> I know it's going to work, right? Yeah. yeah. If it ain't broke. <laughs> okay, Kai has lifetime winnings of 350k. And if you think about it, it was his, his pretty much his run was from like 99 to 2005. No. Philly was when he like died off, kind of. 2004, yeah. So five years. So five years, 350k. That's a lot of money. Yeah. So like 70, 70, yeah, a year. seventy thousand a year, just from like winning at the Pro Tour and Grand Prix. We're not even talking about the all like the like Friday Night Magic that he and... probably won. Kai, <laughs> 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 right, if you still have all those promos from back in the day and you're watching, I want to trade with you. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, so my friend was telling me a story because I, you know, I was pretty upset that I, I, I blew about a hundred dollars cracking packs, didn't really get anything. You blew a hundred dollars? Yeah. Oh man, I'm sorry. Yeah, man, it's okay. Just bought a box. I still would have probably got nothing. <laughs> uh, and at Pro Tour '97, his friend uh, actually bought three boxes of Japanese Tempest. All he wanted to do was get a curse scroll. So he spent like three hundred and fifty dollars, got one curse scroll, threw everything else out. It was Japanese wastelands, Japanese lotus petals, you know? And and now, just imagine. Because he was on such on tilt, that he's yeah. like, I got one curse scroll, which is $40. So I'm down like $310. I don't want this other stuff. <laughs> he would have been up like a thousand. <laughs> he would have been up way more than a thousand. Yeah. In Japanese Tempest? Yeah. It's worth so much now. Yeah, he had like nine wastelands. It was just insane. Way more than nine. You open a box, you got like no. more They're than They're all common. Probably got like three. In a box? I mean, I don't know. I don't know how big the set was, but nine seems reasonable the for three. The uncommon run was, like, super small in that set, wasn't it? I don't know. I had infinite wastelands. Yeah. Like, I remember, I remember having, like, stacks of them. You know what was funny? I remember I had... And, like, I wonder what... Like, I definitely sold them for, like, 
five or ten dollars. Yeah, something. probably less. I had a bunch of wastelands and a bunch of Rashad imports, and I was like, these ones are much better. And I was like, but you know, sleeve the Rashad imports, put them in my trade binders, wasteland, throw them wherever, you know. Yeah, if they're like in the drawer, and my like dog is like. <laughs> yeah, I I, <laughs> like I always dream about it. going yeah, to like, like a, a flea market or like a garage sale, and there's like finding like a bunch of old magic cards. Yeah. I used to dream about that when I was like 12. Really? I still dream <laughs> but then, about like, that. Back then, old magic cards were like four years old. So <laughs> right? like, not even. Like, magic hadn't even been out for that long. Alright, so Chris is mulligan into the six. A leaf from Caro. You're like, man, I hope one day I find out a leaf from Caro. Alright, they're starting. So Lock the races? Yeah, Lockman's on six. I feel like Justin's just gonna destroy. Nope, no one drop. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> My right. feeling was wrong. I see a naturalize. Lockman wants to have an answer to Oblivion Ring. The Honor, Honor of the Pure. pure. A, sword. a couple of good ones. All three of them. Alright. And there's the 2-1 uh, haste guy when uh, it soul bonds with another creature. Oh, I see a slack storm in Lockman's hand. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's definitely a good one against yeah, Justin's deck. If Justin tries to play like the double strike guy, you know, ooh, which might happen. Yep. That's uh, actually a ton of damage, though. It's 12. But, I mean, Lockman's got a 2 for one of them. Yeah, but I mean, he just dealt him 8, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm saying Lockman's down to 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's 8 damage. All right. So, let's see if Justin has a follow-up. A hero would be insane here. Hero would be insane. Yeah. All right. There is the uh, red white duel. He's tapping three. There's Mirror Crusader. Crusader. That's pretty good. Not bad. Yeah. Especially against if Lockman tries to play a Hunt Master. Mm -hmm. Lockman's got to be careful here because a sword would just flat out kill him. Land sword. Mm -hmm. Lockman doesn't have anything. Just in the naturalizing hand, but I mean, it's yeah. pretty hard to keep that up. You really want to get that. What's that? On the table. Oh, that's a uh, bond uh, fire. Bond fire, the damned, yeah. Hmm. I think he just has to play the hunt master, and then next turn hope to. Uh, yeah. All right. So he goes at the fourteen. Sword still kills him though. All right, Lockman's reading his uh, other side of the uh, Hunt Master. Yeah, I'm making sure. I don't think Justin has a sword. I think he just would have, you know. No, yeah, I mean, yeah. Just sort of like showed him probably. Yeah. All right, so he deals uh, Lockman four damage with the Mirror Crusader. Mm -hmm. And Justin will add to his board presence. Uh, gather the townsfolk. Not that impressive. No, definitely not. Just two one ones. And I don't know how many cards Justin has left in his hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is turn five, so he has four cards in his hand. Well, he's on the play, so. So Lockman draws, he'll uh, drop his fifth land. Mm -hmm. And then I think he just bonfires for two. Yeah, and that's, that's just, like super good. Yeah. yeah, it's just a five minute plague wind. Yeah. That's really good. And then he's going to follow it up with a Primula Titan, most likely. Yeah. All right, Bonfire Justin. of the Damned. Yeah, yeah, we're seeing that card. I told you that card is good. Yeah, it really is. Justin has uh, it's nothing, a card it looks for like. Chris. Yeah. yeah. Justin draws for his turn. Justin's going to need to have something really good here. Looks like he's kind of flooding out. All right. Yep. Yeah, it's just like... Yeah, Chris you know, can just pass the turn here and kill that if he wants to. Or he can just play Titan. Uh, I think I would probably just pass the turn. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, I think it's like a lot safer. Yeah. No need to play Premule Titan and, you know, maybe uh, something bad happens. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. 
Yeah, passing the turn is just awesome here. Yeah. I, I think if I was Lockman, I would have just pumped that guy. You know, like you have naturalized shore, but you, could, you can you like, just like get hit by celestial purge pretty hard. If what? Like if you just pass the turn. No, nah, I mean Justin wouldn't have celestial purge. He would have. He would have definitely used it. Almost certainly. I think if I was locking, I would just pump it for one and leave open naturalized just to be safe. Makes sense. I don't really think he needs to play the Primeval Titan. Yeah, so he says go, but he doesn't pump. And Justin just bins his guy. Yeah, so he just missed a point of damage there. Yeah. Not necessarily the biggest deal to miss one point, but sure. you, know, you never want to. Yeah. I mean, some of the other plays we saw today. Yeah, missing we're not, one, missing, missing one, one point. point. Yeah, not <laughs> not quite as bad. So Justin is. I mean, I don't know what he could really do. Looking at his main deck and his sideboard, it's like if he had a hero, he would have played it already. I mean, maybe he's only on, he's only onto a zealous conscripts. Like that could definitely be reasonable. He doesn't really have any burn to to dome him with. The other thing, like the thing that's scary for Chris is that like if Chris just Yeah. Alright, there's Zealous Conscripts. So he could bring Lockman down to three. Yeah. Now Justin doesn't want to play another spell this turn because then Huntmaster will flip back down. Yeah, and then Chris will gain two and, and get another guy. I don't even know how good of a attack that was with the uh, the wolf, because like if he wasn't gonna pump it, he could have left it back, and then pumped it to like, trade with the uh, the zealous conscripts if he thought he had it. Yeah, exactly. Because that's he, what he was playing around. I think that's why he was like tanking a little bit frustrated with himself after he. Yeah, because he probably realized afterwards. Yeah. Why why wouldn't he swing with both guys? Is he, oh, is it, wait, three? Hold on. Four, seven. I guess a land. It's like dead otherwise. A, a land kills Justin? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because Justin's on ten. So if Lockman, if he would have attacked with both and Lockman would have drawn a land, it would have been, a land would have killed him. Does that make sense? Yeah. But I mean, having Lockman at Six or three could be a difference because if Lockman now plays Primeval Titan. Well, Justin might just have another Zealous Conscripts in his hand. Yeah, I mean, that would just be a, like a one outer pretty much, you know? Because he only has two. But I'm just saying that if he got Lockman, if like he risked the fact that Lockman wouldn't have a land. Oh, that's actually interesting. Because you remember how you said that one point in damage wouldn't have came into relevance? It like, actually could have. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. All right, there's Batter Skull. So if Justin steals the Batter Skull, for example. Or he steals the germ, rather? Or yeah, yeah. Steal the... Yeah, steals the germ. Hmm. Yeah, he needed to attack last turn. All right, there's Mirror Crusader. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Remember, Justin could only play one spell a turn, which he does. Lockman draws. What was that, a forest? Yeah, I think Lockman just attacks with Batter Skull and then dumps all his mana. So he's doing the math in his head. So Mirror Crusader could block the Batter Skull. That blocks the air, too. Now, remember, Justin doesn't have anything really as an instant, only Celestial Purge. That's one of the reasons why I don't like a deck like this yeah, as much. Yeah, you can't interact that much. Yeah, you're not really Sorry. using any of your play skill. And... Alright, so Lockman pump for four. That damage actually might have been relevant. 
Yeah. Because not only if Lockman could have done one 100% for free, he could have actually done uh, three. So Justin would have been at seven, which just would have been a totally different game. Yeah. That's true. I think... Chris missed some damage, and I mean, it's definitely costing him here. Right yeah. Now. I mean, uh, Lockman could turn his Huntmaster back down. I don't, I don't think he really wants... That doesn't seem like a very good play, though. Like, yeah. I mean, right now, I think you just kind of attack with just Batter Skull and then dumble your mana to it, right? Well, then it would just die. Like, the Miracle Crusader would just kill it. Cause, like, so what? Then you deal him... What is it? Uh, you deal him six. You gain six. No, you, no you don't gain anything, because it's double strike... Protection from black, protection but, from green. But you do gain it because you trample over for six damage. Oh, I see what you. No. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. But yeah, then. You trample over for six, gain six life. But you're just losing the batter skull token. Yeah, you just lose the batter skull token. I don't think the batter skull token is really relevant at all. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. See, that's how. All right, so he's relevance done. He puts on it. <laughs> he's doing that instead. Okay. Yeah. So. That's seven. So Justin could just block with the Mirror Crusader. Okay. Yep. So Chris is going to put Justin down to four. Yeah. And uh, Chris is going to go up to 12 here. And does he lose the Conscripts? I mean, he could naturalize his own Batter Skull if he needs to. This is probably going to be the deciding turn of the game. So if he did have another conscript, he steals the 4-4. Uh, so he's got a 4-4, four, 3-3, four, three, three, a 3-3. Three, three. No, it doesn't even kill Lachman. 4. No, yeah, Lachman would be at 2. Because he can just naturalize his own battery. Yep, yep, and that's game. All right. Yeah. Chris Lachman moving on to the semifinals. Yeah. Here. Uh, Bonfire of the Damned, a real star player in that game. Yeah. There's a mythic rare that a lot of people may have not uh, not thought.